Hi, I'm Michael Wallen from Strata Identity. Today I will demonstrate how we can achieve modernization for your customer's app identity using Maverick's identity orchestration platform, Incognito. I'll even give you a sneak peek at using Amazon verified permissions. You'll see how your customers can easily modernize their apps with your best-in-class identity services like Cognito without having to rewrite the app's code. Before we start on the demo, let's talk about the challenges that identity orchestration aims to solve. As enterprises have adopted multiple clouds and identity services, identity management has become complex and fragmented. Organizations rely on a mix of on-premise systems, clouds, and identity services that don't necessarily work together. Apps are built on different platforms, and many are non-standard based. As a result, App identity modernization becomes a time-consuming and challenging process. With policy creation and maintenance required in multiple places, and too many points of failure with human error. This is where Strata Identity comes in. We've created a new category of identity software called Identity Orchestration, which helps IT leaders secure every app on any cloud or IDP. Our approach helps organizations build an identity fabric that integrates existing IDPs, applications, and identity services, making them work together seamlessly. The result is a fully composable identity environment that integrates identity services and creates user journeys for application access, all controlled at runtime. The Maverick Simple UI is driven by a declarative API that enables your customers to compose identity fabric, design user flows for your applications, and deploy them to orchestrators in your customer's environment. Our solution is also highly customizable with service extensions. This enables developers complete control to configure Maverick's behavior to match any unique integration requirement. When we define an identity flow that orchestrates a combination of identity services that drive an outcome or use case, we call them recipes. In today's demo, we'll build a journey for a non-standard app that relied on a legacy system called SiteMinder. The customer wants to decommission its use and modernize the app with Cognito for authentication and manage policy using Amazon verified permissions. This process works with a modern app or identity system migration as well. Let's do a quick overview of Mavericks so we can get oriented on how it works. First of all, we have Mavericks. Think of this as the control plane for your admins. Here, they will compose their identity fabric and design user flows for their applications and deploy them to orchestrators in their environment. The orchestrators run as a stateless service that can be deployed on Linux, Windows, Mac, Docker, and even Kubernetes. They operate by remotely reading the signed configuration that is deployed to shared storage providers like Amazon S3. This means there is no cloud connection required, giving you a decentralized approach to managing your identity fabric as you see fit. Okay, let's get started. You can access Mavericks by going to mavericks.strata.io. We have a free trial there, and you can use the entirety of the platform, including everything I'm doing here, right from there. So let's uh, dig into it. So look at the dashboard, it gives you an overview of what you have and what you're using. And let's go into each one. So in Identity Fabric, what is that? Identity Fabric is that collection of identity services that I want to pull together in various combinations for my application flows. So I have several different types of identity services here, whether I want to use one for authentication, whether I want to use one say as a passwordless authentication provider, or if I wanted to pull various user attributes together for my applications in combination of these things for my app. And today we're gonna to be focusing on Amazon Cognito for my Sonar app. Speaking of Sonar app, this is where you configure your application. So whether I have my application relies on, if it's a modern application relies on SAML or OIDC, or if it's one of those non-standard based apps that rely on headers. So we're going to be talking about modernizing this one today. So Sonar is my app that we're going to be building a proxy around so that we can control all of the identity decisions for this application without even having to really touch any of its code. So I give it some 
basic parameters on how I want the proxy to behave. And I also allow all of the resources here to be specified so that I can build a user flow for them. Speaking of user flows, I have my user flow here. And it, this is basically where you define what are the users going to see? How am I going to mix and match together my identity services to build that core user experience for them? And you ask, ask you a couple of questions. So for instance, what do I want to use from this application for authentication? In today's example, we're going to be using Cognito. Or if you built out a service extension using our extensibility, you can build out, basically customize any aspect of this user's journey with our low code solutions. And of course, what's core to this header-based app is using various access control policies. So I have uh, access control policy here on the root. Let's take a look at the app. So we're gonna check out the app today. You can see it's one of those apps that's been around for a long time. It currently uses SiteMinder for authentication. We're gonna switch it over in just a couple of minutes to have it use Cognito. So we're gonna require Cognito and this application relies on some headers. So we're actually gonna be constructing some headers dynamically from the claims that we get from Cognito in order for it to authorize the app for its use. So in this case, the app thought it was relying on this attribute from SiteMinder called the SM user attribute. And lastly, I've set up an Amazon verified permission example for this use case. Remember, we could string together a couple of different identity services for different purposes. So in my policy here, I've got a simple policy that forbids access to a Adkins uh, for this particular user. So let's update this and let's require Amazon verified permissions for this use case. And let's go ahead and publish it. So we're going to save it as a new revision and I'm going to publish this revision. And so remember the Mavericks platform allows you to deploy orchestrators anywhere in your customer's environment. So I have a running orchestrator here that's pulling config from an S3 bucket. So I'm simply going to publish this configuration to the S3 bucket, and the orchestrator is going to pick it up, recognize that something is new. So let's go back and check my app again. Great. It picked up that I needed to authenticate with Cognito. and it's obeying the policy to forbid access. And if I just came in here and edited that, edit this to say permit, it's just a simple example here. I'm gonna update my policy and I'm gonna go back to my app, go back here, authenticate again, and it's allowing me access in. And as you can see, we're constructing those headers from Cognito and Amazon Verified Permissions is authorizing access to this application. Thank you very much. Let's wrap it up. Now, let's review what we just demonstrated. First, we saw a just-in-time app identity modernization from a legacy identity system site minder to Amazon Cognito and Verified Permissions without changing the app source code. Mavericks performed the session abstraction to manage access to the protected legacy application, enabling them to decommission SiteMinder. This was just one recipe and the possibilities are endless. This concludes today's demo. If you have any questions, reach out to us at partners at strata.io or sign up to get started with at mavericks.strata.io. Finally, visit our documentation at docs.strata.io forward slash quick starts to learn more. We look forward to helping you modernize your customer's identity infrastructure with best-in-class offerings from AWS. Thank you very much and have a great day.